Hello everyone, this video covers uh, participation one for Math 130. The first question is asking you to find the difference quotient, which is this formula. This is one of the most formula and one of the most important formulas that you will use in calculus. And this looks kind of fancy, but this is nothing more than the slope formula. Okay? You should convince yourselves that that's technically what it is. And this is the reason why this formula is very, very important in calculus. Now, just to uh, show you what I mean, there is the slope. Let's say you have x in here, and then this will be x plus h. And then let's say this is f of x, and this is f of x plus, plus h. So you have a graph that goes through there you find the slope between these two points you can see that this is f of x plus h clearly this one is f of x and you remember the the formula for the for the slope it is a y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 so this is just the formula. Okay? Now, anyways, we're going to see this formula also in this class multiple times. And the difficulty on using this formula is going to depend on the difficulty of the, of the function. For part A, f of x is x squared minus 4. So you need to find f of x plus h first. Remember, you need to replace x plus 4x plus h and then simplify so all we did here is whenever you see an x let's put x plus h now if we use foil or the distributed property this is 3 this is x square plus 2xh plus h square minus 4 again i mean this is basic algebra that you should all have seen before but this square expands to to all this it should be h square all right so then you simplify this will be a uh, 3x square plus 6xh plus 3h square minus 4 then if we plug this into the formula, and we plug it into the difference quotient, then this will be 3x squared plus 6xh plus 3h squared minus 4. So that's the first part, minus uh, 3x squared minus 4, that's the second part and everything divided by by h all right so here how many things are going to cancel you can see that this will cancel down the four will cancel down for these questions for uh polynomials if you do this correctly the original function always disappears and then you have 6xh plus 3h squared left divided by h and you simplify this is 6x plus 3h all right now let's try the second problem uh part b is very very close to part part a so first thing we need to find how much is f of x plus h and in our case this will be x plus h minus x plus h squared Remember that wherever there is an x, you just replace it by x plus h. Then uh, simplify. Remember that this is exactly the same thing as this. There's no need to redo it. So this is x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. So just be careful with the the sign so therefore this is x plus h minus x square 
minus 2xh minus h square. All right, so next you're gonna place it into the difference quotient formula. So if you plug it in here, then for the first part, when we have x plus h minus x square minus 2xh minus h square, and then we need to subtract f of x, which was x minus x square, and then everything is divided by h. All right, so here the x cancel, the x square. Notice how again the original function is is canceled, so this is it's gone. And then from here we end up with h uh, minus two x h minus h square. Everything divided by h. If you simplify, and by that I mean divide everything by h, you will get one minus two x minus h. Now, the reason why I mentioned at the beginning and I make a big deal about the slope is that if you have to take calculus. This formula is very, very important. I say that already. But this is why it's very important. In, at the beginning of a calculus class, you have to do all of this, which is just algebra. And once you are done, the calculus part is technically, you just say, okay, forget about h. What happens to this if h is equals to zero? And then you will get something which is called the derivative. So you have to do all of this work, which is just algebra. The only calculus part is what happens if this is equals to, to zero. So the point is, if you can do this, you should be very, very, I mean, it should be very easy once you get to calculus. All right, now let's go to uh, number two. This is a slightly different topic. So here is asking you to solve for for h, which is right here. There is more than one way to solve this, but probably the easiest one is to distribute first. Again, that's not the only the only approach. So this is why we have a equals to uh, t plus g h if you distribute minus g w remember that the one you're trying to solve for is h so the variable is h and you should think of h as being uh, x the x variable so then you have to leave h by itself so the first thing you should do is move everything to the opposite side so here we subtract the t and we add the g w. So this is what we'll have on the left side. You will have a plus g w minus t. And on the right side you have g h. Since we're trying to solve for g, I mean sorry for h, then you just divide by g in both sides okay. and from here we will get that h is equals to a plus gw minus t divided by g or you can simplify this a bit more h is equals to a minus t over g you combine this and this plus w because gw over g is just equals to, to w for part b since we have a fraction the easiest way to get rid of a fraction when you have a, a rational function like this is to multiply by the lcd so if we multiply by the lcd on both sides we have td equals to x minus y because the d's will cancel here. And remember that we're trying to solve for, for y. So then from here, you have several choices. You can move the y to the left side, 
or just leave it on the right side and then multiply by a minus sign. Either way is fine. So it will be easier to to move y to the other side first. So here it will cancel. So you will have y plus td is equals to x. And since you're trying to solve for y, now you move the td to the other side. Again, this is not the only the only way to do it. You could just move the x to the other side first and then multiply everything by negative one and it will still give you the same same exact answer. All right, question number three is probably the easiest of all the questions. All you have to do is uh, read the table and you're done. And this is what I mean. The y intercept is right here and the the graph is to it is, is to scale so you can see this is one two three four five so this is the y intercept which is the point zero five we have two x intercepts as you can see here this one and this one so this is the x intercept and so is this one right here. So both of them are x intercepts. The first one is one zero and the second one is uh two three four five so it's five zero. Okay. The domain the domain for um uh for this function which is a parabola you can see that the arrows keep going so that means x keeps going forever to this side and this side so the domain is all the it's all the real numbers which will be from minus infinity to infinity the range is related to the y values and you can see that the lowest value is this one which is minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4. So the lowest it goes is to negative 4. And the highest is infinity because it has the, the errors. Now, what is f of 2? And this one you may have to approximate it. So when x is equals to 2, which is right here, f of 2 will be this, which in this case is actually um minus one minus two minus three so this one was actually easy so it's minus three now that's different than this one this is asking you for which value so x is y equals to two that's pretty much what it's asking so y is equals to two right here and right here so these are the values where f of x is equals to 2. So now you just have to approximate this. This is like 5.5 5, and this is like 0.5. So you don't have to have the exact value. So x will be 0.5 or x is equals to 5.5. 5. Okay. All right. So technically 3 is the easiest of all the questions. Now number 4 is a system of equations and you can use either elimination or substitution to solve it but first you need to set up the problem so here we have that kevin is having a party and you're going to buy two things hamburgers and burritos so let's say that x is the burritos and y is the number of hamburgers which is pretty much what the question is asking all right so the total uh he spent is one or two and it tells you that a burrito is four dollars and a hamburger is three so first if you want to find the total you don't have to do a table but usually a table could be the the easiest easiest way so the total is 102 and then you have x, which is the number of burritos, and y is the number of hamburgers. Since each burrito costs $5, so 
So the total value for the burritos or the total cost is 5x. And the total value for the uh, hamburgers, it will be 3, 3y. This is actually 4. They cost $4. Okay. So the first equation we'll get from here, it will be the 4x plus 3y is equals to 1 or 2. Now you need to have two two equations. The second equation you will get it from from here. It says the number of hamburgers is six more than the number of of burritos. So uh, the number of hamburgers is y. So y is equals to the number of hamburgers, which is x plus. Uh, six more and now this is the system of equations you can call this equation one this one equation two and in this case since you already have this equation solved for y the easiest method is substitution so if we use a substitution so substitute equation two into equation one then we will get the, the following. So equation one, you have 4x plus 3y is equals to 1 or 2. But remember, y is just equals to x plus 6. So then if we distribute, we'll have 4x plus 3x plus 18 is equals to 1 or 2. Combine like terms we will end up with 7x plus 18 is equals to 102 then we have a 7x equals to 84 and that means that x is equals to to 12 okay so then that means you have a 12 12 readers and then the number of uh, hamburgers is six more than the number of, of burritos. So from here, y is going to be x plus six, which is 18. So this one will be 18, and that's it.